Don't even bother quoting me any homeopathic, allopathic, or hold on. Don't bother quoting me anyone that's dead in the holistic allopathic world telling me that how ferrous cyanide or cyanide or whatever, potassium cyanide, is horrible and causes cancer. Because guess what? All of those people that are saying this causes cancer, that causes cancer, guess what? They're fucking dead. You know why they're dead? Because they don't know how to balance minerals or how to balance nutrition. I take no I take no advice from any doctor. I take no advice from any dead doctor, dead allopathic, holistic, homeopathic, osteopath, ER doctor. I don't care who the F you are with any kind of freaking credential nutritionist. I don't take any advice from anyone in the allopathic, holistic, none. You know why they're dead? Because they don't know how to balance their own microbiome. You know why they're dead? Because they don't understand minerals. You know why they're dead? Because they took their own fucking advice. So if you want to go and quote to me someone like Holda Clark, then why don't you go and do Holda Clark's protocols and guess where you'll end up? Passed away. Oh, but wait, she's supposed to die. It's okay to die. It's okay to die. It's okay to destroy yourself with excess minerals. Don't you realize that any minerals in the in the J juice, any minerals in the salt as far as the anti-caking agent is not going to fucking hurt you? Hi, Randy. So if you want to quote Holda Clark, then go do Holda Clark's protocols and you'll end up like Holda Clark. You want to do CB's protocols, Dr. CB, who isn't even a freaking doctor? Go do all of his protocols. He said he cured AIDS. Oh, yeah, he took a bunch of minerals. He took a bunch of, 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 of antibiotics. He just destroyed his microbiome. And guess what? As he was dying, or someone said he was killed off, he was aging and degrading. He had major gray hair. He has an antibiotic microbiome. So if you want to go and quote all your little freaking holistic doctors and all your little religious things that are all about antibiotics and all about all your little kombuchas and apple cider vinegars, then why don't you go do them and end up like those people that you are trying to quote and follow? That's why I don't collaborate with anybody in the energy healing world. You know why? Because they're all freaking aging and degrading. They're all freaking dying. Those people, like that guy that is um, doing the, 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 the jumping in the cold water, holding his breath, doing the measured breathing. You look at him, he's aging and degrading. Why would you why would you even take any kind of advice from someone who is dying? Why, why do you guys do that? Why do you take advice from your fucking doctors that are basically destroying you at the micro level with all the antibodies, with all the prescription drugs, all the vaccines? Oh, that's right. That's right. You didn't die from the vaccine. No, but guess what? You're obese. Guess what? You have cancer disease and chronic illness. Guess what? You have to wear glasses. Guess what? You have some kind of weird disease that you don't even know about, but you're taking prescription medication or you're taking a holistic remedy or guess what? You, uh, you have other predispositions that's in your family. Just go look at your mom and dad. That'll tell you exactly what you're in for. Oh, but the vaccines are so great. All those antibodies destroying you. Yeah, they're so fucking great. You look great too. No, you don't. So if you want to quote me anyone that's dead in the holistic allopathic world, then you go and take all of their remedies and you end up just like them. Just like the doctors that are aging and degrading. Those doctors that are aging and degrading like Dr. Fossey. You want to end up like Dr. Fossey? Ooh, yeah. Uh, do all the vaccines and what else? You know, um, he's not promoting hydroxychloroquine because he's trying to get you to... Uh, to uh, uh, take hydroxychloroquine because he knows the, the conspiracy community won't take any advice from the, um, from the medical. So if the medical community is trying to withhold something because you think it's a secret cure, there's no, thing, there's no freaking secrets out there. Do you realize that they put me all over the freaking mainstream media? They put me all over freaking Dr. Phil. And my shit works. Oh, but wait, hold on. The secret rife machines, the secret stuff... They're withholding the cures. Dr. Fossey's withholding the cures. Oh my gosh. So now we have to go and take all those fucking hydroxychloroquine and what is it? Zinc and something else. You see, that's the psychological operation that is so easy to manipulate those that are so imbalanced. So imbalanced. 
And then when you try to care about people, they're like, oh, fuck you, Jillian. You're stupid. Oh, you're you're dumb, Jillian. You don't know what you're talking about. You're just angry. Well, you know, when I'm watching my friends and family die around me, it's hard not to be affected. It's hard not to just not say something. You have to say something. Not that I'm going to get through to them, of course. No, I'm not going to get through to them. But you know, I got to vent because I'm seeing an uptick. I'm watching all of you guys age and degrade. And then you're asking for it. And then you're voting. Oh, yeah, Trump is going to save us. Oh, Q is going to save us. Oh, Biden is going to save us. Oh, you better go and vote because guess what? You want them to know that you're buying into the fucked up system that is destroying your friends and family. Oh, but wait, no, no, no. Trump is, Trump is, he's, he's, he's different. He's trying to save us from being enslaved as he's enslaving you with the fucking vaccines, with the freaking therapeutics. You're being snowed like you won't, you don't even, and you know what? It's all about communism. Communism is where you're responsible for somebody that's across the street. That's what communism is. I worked in the Communist Party actually in San Francisco. Didn't know it because I came from a communist household. I worked with the independent movement. I made the freaking phone calls asking everyone on the voter registration list, hey, are you happy with the left and the right? Well, we're the independents. We're different. No, they're not. They're so freaking left. They are the actual communist party and they're going and eliciting and and uh, infiltrate and brainwashing the poor black population that's been so abused by the system. And they're using them as cannon fodder to basically destroy your community. And then you hate people that do that. And so that's what the Democrats and the Republicans and the independents and the Green Party and every single party out there is doing is they're using the people in your community that have been abused for such a long time as a way to usher in the new world order communists. And so now you're seeing people in Greece where if they do anything that is going to might cause somebody else's death because they don't wear a mask. Guess what? They're in jail for their life. They're in jail for life. And that's what communism is. When you fucking vote, when you vote and you tell them you're buying into the system, you are actually buying into the enslavement through your microbiome, as well as these draconian laws, because you have people around you that don't give a fuck about their body, mind, or spirit. They want to go buy into the savior. Oh yeah, Jesus is savior. No, you are the savior. Oh yeah, Trump is the savior. Oh no, Trump is not a fucking savior. Trump is part of all the bullshit. Oh, but wait, hold on a second. You need to have somebody to put your faith in because you have no faith in your own microbiome. You have no faith in any future for yourself because you have never been giving yourself a chance because you're always saying that the fight's out there. You're always saying that someone's out there is going to save you. But no, you don't want to save yourself. You want to pretend that everything is great. You want to pretend that, you know what, nothing's going to affect you until it does. And then it's the 11th hour and now you have a headache. Oh, now I have a headache. I don't understand why I have a headache. Oh, it couldn't be that the fact that they're doing the phase three trials, the new vaccines, and they're putting people strategically in, in communities, being patient zero. Do you don't realize that, right? I had to deal with another fucking upgrade. I'm over it now. But you guys were, oh, why am I so sick, everybody? Oh, do you, it's because they're stupid fit. Because I had somebody from North Canton go down to freaking Columbus, go through Moderna or Pfizer's vaccine phase one, phase three trial. Now he's here passing along, you know, and now he's patient zero. And now we're getting another uptick. Now we're getting another uptick. So, you know, you got to do J juice because you have nothing else. But voting is not going to do shit. At this point, you just got to watch everybody around you that doesn't get it. Just pass. But, you know, you don't want people to pass. You want to give people, you know, a way to articulate. And that's why I say you got to come from the antibodies perspective that is what's destroying you that's what trump is promoting that is what biden is promoting that is what your holistic allopathic everyone that's a doctor in your community they're not to be revered nobody that is holding any kind of doctor any kind of licensed holistic professional is your friend oh yeah but but they're but they're but there's my husband it's my wife it's my my you know sister or brother-in-law and 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 they're so great yeah you know what I saw one ER doctor that he basically paid off all of his student loans. Guess what? On the blood of all of his patients. That's what I wanted to say. Oh, good for you. You paid all your student loans basically on the backs of all of your patients. That's exactly what you're promoting is allowing your friends and family to basically let them like let them sacrifice you and your family so they can get ahead and then promote the overall agenda, which is destruction of your friends and family. And the thing is, I don't want people in my world that I know to die. Because I love people that are in my world and they don't get it. 
I could give a fuck about the guy way down there that I don't even know about who is committing crimes and causing destruction and whatever. I can give a fuck. He can do whatever the hell. But it's my friends and family that I give a crap that don't care about them, that, that don't care about themselves and don't care about me either, really, when you think about it. And so it's kind of like it sucks because I know that I'm looking forward to the cleanse of the earth because we need more balanced people. But then a lot of people that are not balanced are my friends and family and I have to watch them die. And I don't want to pray for their destruction, but I know the earth needs cleansing, but I don't want them to be cleansed. But then I can't help that. So that's the struggle that I'm going through is coming to terms with the fact that even the people that I know don't give a fuck about themselves or me or their community. And it sucks because I care about them. Okay. And that's what you're seeing is a passion. That's why, you know, with, after getting over this, 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 um, other headache on this left side of my head with through my ear, you know, I was a little aggro today, like really aggro. And I just can't help, but speak some kind of truth on my end with a few facts to support it. But I'm telling you, there is nobody in Congress that is going to help you guys. You ultimately have to help yourself. Cabbage water, pink, not pink salt, cabbage water and white salt. Don't be quoting fucking hold a clerk or anyone in the holistic allopathic because they are not your friend. And anyone that is dead, you should not be taking advice from. Absolutely fucking not. Especially not Dr. CB, especially not hold a clerk or anyone else out there. Because they ended up dead, you know, oh, they were killed off. That's the whole holistic thing is, is how they've been able to manipulate you guys. Oh yeah, the holistic doctors are being destroyed by big pharma. Oh my God. That was what the, the Mercola and Aaron from HealthNet News was promoting. Oh God, big pharma is trying to kill off all the holistic doctors because they had some secret recipe or some secret cure that they don't want anyone to find out. Oh my God, the psychological operations was just insane. And I saw through all of that shit the last four years. And now we're at the end game. And if you buy into all that bullshit, guess what? You can't fight against antibodies if you're not releasing them and regenerating at the micro level. You guys are in for a world of fucking hurt if you don't do the J-juice. You're in for a world of hurt. If I felt something as intense as I did the last couple days, imagine those of you with major predispositions. You're in for some shit. You're in for some shit. Good luck. Bye.